Hello everyone and welcome to Voice Acting 101. Today's episode we're going to dive into some fun warm-ups to do before you get behind the mic, and easy to follow tips to stay in good vocal health. Like any other forms of acting, you gotta do some stretches, and in this case it's with your voice. It's critical to remember that your larynx or voice box is a muscle, ligament, and mucous membrane. So, to utilize it to its fullest potential, you need to get it on its best foot forward. Or voice. You get the idea. There's eight warm-ups I'm going to teach you today that will certainly help. They will involve jaw release, lip trills, breath relaxation, tongue trills, octave scales, kazoo buzzing, I'll explain that one, humming, and cool down. All right, that one sounds weird to say in a warm-up guide, but it will make sense. Jaw release will lower tension in the mouth and jaw area during your session. Place the heels of each hand directly below the cheekbone, pushing in and down from the cheeks to the jaw, massaging the facial muscles. Allow your jaw to gently open as you move the hands down to the face. Follow this process as many times as you can until you feel weird doing it. But you should probably also still keep doing it. Lip trills relieve lip tension and will also aid in breathing and speaking. Place your lips loosely together and release air in a steady stream to create a trill or raspberry sound. Give it a whirl first on an H sound, that one's a little easier. Then repeat it again on a B sound. Hold the sound steady and keep the air flowing past the lips. Next, try to repeat the B trill gliding gently up and down your scales. Remember, do not attempt to push beyond what is comfortable at the top and the bottom of your own personal vocal scale. Breath relaxation aids your breathing mechanics and can help avoid annoyance with effective voiceovers. Take a normal breath in and then breathe out. Take note of keeping your shoulders and your chest lowered and in a relaxed state. Keep breathing in this matter and watch that your breathing does not stress areas such as your neck, chest, or shoulder. Keep it all on your abdomen. If you're struggling, place one hand over your abs to remind yourself to push focus there only. And for an extra little bonus, hold a s sound when you breathe out. Tongue trills will help relax your tongue and boost your breathing and vocals. Place your tongue behind your upper teeth. Breathe in and release while chilling your tongue with an R sound. You know, like rrr. Keep it steady and keep the breath. Like with lip trills, follow your vocal scales if you can and go up and down with the R sound. And remember, stay in a comfy area. Now we're actually going to challenge your octave scales. The octave scales, if you've seen in the previous trill exercises, can also be utilized in their own warm-up. And this is where we're going to challenge you. Instead of just following one scale, we're gonna follow two. Doing so will provide the maximum stretch your vocals can handle. Start the warm up in your lowest pitch and gently glide up your scales on a me sound. Even though we are following two scales, do not try to push your highest and your lowest. But each time you do do this warm up, just try to go a little bit higher and a little bit lower. And as soon as you've reached the top, go back down nice and gently with an E sound. And you can also repeat this method with an ooh sound. Now, kazoo buzzing. Kazoo buzzing improves your resonance of your sound and your maximum stretch. To begin this warm up, form your mouth like you're sucking in spaghetti with an inhale. On your exhale, make a woo sound. It should sound like a buzz on a kazoo. As soon as you got this attempt right, hold it steady for three attempts. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can try to follow the scales with this exercise. It's a little trickier than the other ones, but definitely pays off. Humming boosts the vibrations of the front of your lips, teeth, and jaw. Begin with your lips gently closed and jaw released. Take an easy breath in and breathe out while saying hum. And you should repeat this with the mmm sound as well. The mmm sound, not the mmm sound. <laughs> and lastly, the cool down. The cool down, which should be done after each of the previous warm-ups, is a really vital tool on its own. Gently hum while focusing the feeling of the hum on your lips. If you're feeling a nice little tickle in your lips and nose, you got it right. To wrap up the night, let's discuss some good tips to follow to keep your vocals in healthy condition. Like the doctors say, drink at least eight eight ounce glasses of water every day. If you're drinking right before a session, try to avoid cold or hot water. It's gonna be weird to say, but lukewarm water is actually going to be the best choice for you there. Cold and hot water cause tension in your vocal folds and limit your stretch. You should also avoid drinking anything with dairy about an hour before your session. This can build up mucus and will create some very 
unpleasant noises behind the mic. There's also a strange incident with your vocals, some called smackles, or moments I like to call vocal goosh, where your mouth is clicking and trying to rehydrate itself or making some weird squishy noises, kind of like squishing down on a sponge and the water just comes out and it's that weird little kind of noise. So the go-to cure is green apples. Something in them causes a gentle lubrication that keeps your mouth happy and noise-free. So you're gonna see them a lot in studios, believe me. They, they help. And if you really are trying to stretch for a warm drink, I recommend herbal teas. Or mixing warm water with this really neat throat coat syrup called Ninjion Pe Pokoa. This syrup does wonders to the vocal folds and reduces irritation when belting out those dynamic lines. You know, those ones. As much as I personally enjoy it, avoid coffee or black tea before a session. The caffeine can dry out your voice pretty quickly. And even though it can give you that boost of energy you need, it's not a good choice. The last piece of advice I can give to keeping good voice health is to get a good night's sleep. At least eight to nine hours. Anything lower or higher that I've noticed with myself personally, lower my vocal stretch and overall motivation to record. Like most jobs, you need to keep in good flow with it and ignoring the warm-ups or tips can lead to some major disasters in your path. So be sure to practice in a steady moderation, eat and drink healthy, sleep well, and don't push the vocals if they're not ready for it. And if you did your best behind the mic, you can reward yourself with that ice cream or that iced coffee, but keep it after you've done the job. Speaking of which, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee now. Thanks for listening in as always. Stop on by the next episode where we discuss a very vital piece of the voice acting puzzle, character creation. This is PMC Moore signing out.